Even within a period of already heightened tension in Catalonia, this 48-hour period has been described as a crunch time. Barcelona and Madrid have been engaged in an increasingly intense bout of constitutional arm wrestling. Catalan President Carles Puigdemont has been under as much pressure from hardline separatists on his own side to declare independence as he has from Madrid and elsewhere to back down. His letter to the Spanish Senate argued that the central government's plan to intervene was unconstitutional, stressing that it could not give a blank check to the national government. Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy has paved the way for Madrid to impose direct rule in Catalonia. If, as expected, the Senate approves Article 155, what happens then? How far will the Madrid government enforce its authority in practical terms? How would Catalans respond in public services, in the police, in the streets? With Puigdemont pleasing neither side, all eyes shift to the Senate in Madrid and the outcome of the debate in the Catalan parliament. Catalonia and the rest of Spain, not to mention Europe, remain on tenterhooks.